What's up guys and welcome to my last series of Farm Sim 22. That's right, you heard it correctly. My last series. Um So yeah, um I'm starting a new map again. What's new? Um and before I begin to talk about things, uh here's the map. The shop is right there. We are currently up here with all of this blue icon and fields and stuff. Um, we own quite a bit of stuff. Um, I am starting a new farmer mode, and we do start with all of this, surprisingly. We're going to sell most of it, like I normally do. But I'll try to keep a majority of it. Things like the stone picker I'll keep. Because I do have stones on. The subsoiler I might sell. Pending if I have enough power for it. And I do. So we might keep that. I don't know. Well no it's only 4 meters. So we might sell it. I don't know. Um, so this episode is going to be. Just getting all the equipment set up. And ready to go. Uh, we might do a little bit of farming. It might be running in the background of, uh, while well, I set everything else up. I'm not quite sure. Um, but anyway. Uh, since this is going to be my last series. I do plan on this being quite a long one. I mean, I, I want it to last until 25 comes out. Um, whether that happens or not, we'll see. And I haven't determined if I want to do a series on Millennial Farmer's map yet. I know it's not out yet. Um, if it even is coming out for 22, who would know? Um, so I haven't determined if I want to do a series on that. I know there's very big fields on it, and I would get pretty boring pretty quick I think especially for you guys it was just me sitting going in straight lines all the time um yeah so yeah I don't know um the reason I picked this map is because it got an update recently just like Alma Missouri did um I do really like this map, and I do have big plans for it. Um, there's a lot of new productions. I added a lot of new productions as well, modded productions. Um, so I'm excited to get into that. Um, yeah, that's pretty much pretty much the gist. I hope you guys enjoy the series and this episode. And yeah, that's that's about it. Um, so the first thing we're doing is we are selling this combine. I need to pull forward a little bit more. So the header is in the trailer or the trigger. Repair, repaint it. Repair, repaint it, and sell that. And then we're going to start resetting things. So the first thing we're going to reset is the bale trailer. Don't need that. Want that. Want that. Want that. Want that. We'll keep the front loader for now. Now, these stone pickers. Let me just get over there. This um, equipment has stuff in it. If you see in the bottom of order, this has hay in it already. As well as this. This has lime in it. This has herbicide in it, and this has stones in it. So we're not going to sell those four things. Um, I don't believe the loading wagon has anything in it. No, it doesn't. So we can sell that. Um, we're going to sell the mowers. I think. Yeah, we're selling the mowers. I I don't even know what this is. What is this? I don't. What is that? Is 
that what this is? That is what that is. Okay. Um, so it's a grassland can. I've never used that, so we're selling that. Uh, we're s selling that, selling that, selling that. Uh, we'll sell that, get a bigger one, and we'll sell that one too. So we have a lot to reset here. Oh, what's back here? Oh, we'll sell that too. Uh, so we need a tractor down at the shop, and you'll reset that. You know what, while we're at it, we'll just reset those as well, because I'm not going to use those. Reset that. Pretty much we're resetting everything. Because I do want the max amount of money. And also, a lot of this equipment has uh, a lot of hours on it already. So you can see in the bottom right hand corner, this tractor has 102 hours on it, which is like crazy, especially for farm sim. As far as uh, brand-wise we're going to get, I would like to go for class, because I don't use that very often. And I know there's a lot of fun mods that go along with class. Um, so that we'll definitely be getting a harvester, because we do have, what, four wheat fields, I think? And then I think maybe Massey Ferguson and Fent as well. I made $2,000 for that. Wow. So much money. I don't know if we're going to have enough to uh, buy a combine. I guess I still do have a loan. So there's that. All right, we just got three more things we got to sell, and then we can start on a spending spree. That gave us a nice bit of change.
Is this backwards? Sure is. That actually makes sense. I like that. How they put it that way. Alright, the first thing we're going to buy is actually a planter, because it's on sale, and I want it. Uh, will this look good in class colors? No, no it won't. John Deere it is. Next thing we're going to buy is a combine. Now, what do I have installed? Not a lot. Well, a lot, but also not a lot at the same time. Um, hmm, let's go for this. So that is 282,000. We're going to need a bean head. And I don't really want to mess around with a header trailer, so we're going to get that. Hopefully that can handle that. And do I have a good class corn header installed? Well, there's the Capello, that's 12 meters, but that's a little big for what I want. There's always the Titan, but those are unrealistic, and we're not going for unrealistic on this series. So, it looks like we're going for this. Which we will need a header for trailer for that. Which, for this one, I'm okay with, because we won't use it very often. Which, I don't even know why I'm getting it, for that matter. Alright, then we're going to hook up to the bean head, I think. Yeah, bean head. Uh, get that taken over to the field. Get it all set up, and we will potentially start harvesting? Maybe? Wow, this combine's really loud. I, I keep forgetting how loud this combine is until I buy it. I'm going to destroy some crops. This seems really big for this combine. Seems really big for this map, actually. Good enough, let's get going.
So, wow, that got real quiet. Um, I kind of want this field. Um, it does have soybeans in it. It is also 392,000. Good lord. I'm just going to zoom out from away from that because that's really loud for me. Um, yeah, that field's 392,000, I said, right? Um, it's probably a little bit out of our price range at the moment, unless I take out a loan, which I, <laughs> you know me, I will, eventually. Because we still need a cedar, we need a lime spreader, uh, actually no, we have a lime spreader, don't we? It's probably not very good, but we have a lime spreader. Uh, we need a plow, a tree be gone to get rid of these trees right here. So we're com gonna combine these fields into two fields. This field that we're in, this next field right next to us will be a field. And then those two fields up there on the hill, or that go up the hill, will be a field as well. Um, let's just look in the use sales, because I did see two trucks, actually. Wow. Uh, I would like the Max Superliner, but that's more U.S. style. And we're kind of going for a European style here. So maybe we buy it now just to have, and then later we can change it out for European style when we have a little bit more money. That might be an idea. But then again, we don't really need a semi at the moment. Other than hauling grain. And I, we do have a trailer for that already, don't we? Yes, we do. Perfect. We also have a wheel loader and a telehandler. The, the telehandler I'm definitely keeping. The wheel loader... Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do silage. I might. And if I do do silage, I will not use that wheel loader. But maybe we just keep it for now, just in case. Alright, that is one headland around. We are 84% full. That's actually very good. Well, mm, is it actually good? I don't know. So we'll hire him off there. We're going to grab the JCB tractor if I can find it. There it is. Open up these doors. That door's already un opened. Uh, where's the trailer? I don't actually know. Um, hum, 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 hum. Where's the trailer? Is it in this shed? Uh, what's that? Is that my trailer? That is my trailer. Look at that. I found it. This JCB has 250,000, 250,000, 250 hours on it. That's crazy.
Oh, the comma got a lot further down than I thought he would. Oh, and that auger barely reaches. Look at that. Fantastic. Uh, we need to grain the corn header back down. Again, not really sure why I bought a corn header. We don't really need it at the moment. But just as always, nice to have in case we do contracts. Speaking of contracts, are there any contracts we can do? There are. So there's some fertilizing, harvesting. That wouldn't be so bad. I think we'll put this in this shed right next to me, on my right. And then the combine and the other head can go on the other side of this shed. Um, we're actually going to bring the baler down. We're going to sell that, because even though it's got some hay in it, not a lot to mess with. It's only 35% full. I'm okay if we sell it. I didn't hit that building. <laughs> Alright, and then we're going to get a new baler. And we're going to get... Uh, one of these. Just checking I don't have anything else installed. No. Uh, we're going to get this, I think. Yeah, we're going to get this. Um, man, I keep yawning. I'm sorry, guys. Um, we're gonna get that. The reason because for the mower that we get, which will probably be the swather, just because I like the swather, um, and I don't use it enough, surprisingly. I'm just kidding. I use it all the time. Um, but when it comes to the big swath header and the the conditioner part of it, this Balo works really well with it. So that way you don't have to come back with a wind rower. But for harvesting, like crops wise. It's not really useful unless you go for a, like a really big uh, working width windrower wise.
Now surprisingly, this Valtra is actually our most powerful tractor. It's got, what, 305 horsepower? Let me just check. Yeah, 305 horsepower. Look at that. Uh, and then our our JCB is 235, and our Massey is 205, and we also have a New Holland that's only 175, and I just crashed into that. My combine stopped. It did. him off again let's find the JCB it should be this next one yeah ah oh, man I keep yawning
hop back into the JCB. I went by it. And that will do it for today, guys. I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.